Howdy ho! There's a very large man standing behind me. Apparently. I guess that's how that works. I need to move my microphone. Hold on. There we go. What is with you and impressions? Jeez. This is my current weaving outfit. I'm a weaver. I weave things. I'm also level 22. However, I've come across a little pickle. And I will do weaving on camera eventually. There's really not a whole bunch to it. It's fairly simple, but... Uh, the, the problem being... I've gotten to the point where I need do thread, and uh, what you make from that, which is this do thread. But in order to get do thread, you need diarmite web. And the only place I can get diarmite web is from a single level 25 enemy that takes me ages to kill and has like a 20% chance of dropping them. Or probably less, actually. Yeah, probably less than that. Admittedly, it drops two to three at a time, but in like an hour and a half's time, I managed to pick up, I don't know, 12 to 15 of them. So, uh, I can't really do much until I'm capable of getting those easily enough. Unless there's some in the guild chest, which I don't think there are. I think Humbuggle already took the ones that were put in there. Let's run over to the guild chest real quick. I put a bunch of stuff from my inventory. You might notice it's all sorts of screwed up. I put a bunch of stuff from my inventory, mostly botany stuff, uh, in the chest. So you can see all of that stuff is gone. So there's a bunch of stacks of like 99 branches or something in here. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go here. There we go. Yeah, you can see the 99 lavender and the 98 carnations and stuff. Uh, there is some web I'm thinking Humbuggle already took the other one because the guy said he had 11 web or something along those lines and all I see is the two high quality ones I'll leave those in there what is sprint? it is sprint it is to run quickly you miss sound who what? sound I'm confused Rabble, rabble, indeed. Um, if you're asking what the ability is, it uses all of your TP to make you run faster. It's a fairly simple ability. Uh, but we need... Go ahead and swap to that. Am I all repaired? More or less. We need to do a dungeon. In a dungeon we shall do... Let me ask if anyone in the company actually wants in. I think someone earlier said they wanted in, so give me one moment here. Where do you live, Lucas? Because there's... Freaking Florida is like Mosquito Central. Florida got mosquitoes all up in this. Over T-Gun has logged out. Denmark? I thought it would be too cold for mosquitoes in Denmark. I guess it is summer. Find a way to breed dragonflies. I suppose that's one way you could do it. Did no one want in for Copper Bell? I'm pretty sure someone earlier when I asked said they wanted in. Also, we're rank 4 now. Are they still on? Um, no, they're not still on. They logged off 23 minutes ago. Well, there goes that plan, I suppose. We may have a very long queue ahead of us, because we need to do this dungeon in order to progress. Ova Tegan. That looks like Freya. Who looks like Freya? Are there people who look like Freya? Good god. Also, my uh, sweet outfit here. With the evil red mask that doesn't fit anything else. The rest of this stuff goes together so well. And then the giant evil red mask. That doesn't make any sense. I 
I don't think we're gonna... I don't think anyone's even paying attention to the company right now. It's always possible they're all doing something and not paying attention. Given no one said anything for a while. The horse girl? Who's a horse girl? What are you on about? I don't remember a horse girl. I don't remember a girl on a horse in any Final Fantasy either, while we're on that. If you're talking about Freya, she definitely wasn't a horse. We'll just join the queue. It's possible we might get in relatively quickly. It's also very highly unlikely, but... Your memory is indeed bad. Also, Guitar Guy is... Uh, So that guy steals someone's name, and then types that in the chat. If you don't know who Cosmo Wright is, he's the dude who does uh, speedruns. Of a bunch of Nintendo stuff, mostly Zelda stuff to be honest. He does speedruns. Is it weird that you hear Masquerade from Phantom of the Opera? Is it weird to you that you hear anything? Can Akasha actually see what's going on? Has something occurred that Akasha can now watch these? I'm confused. Freya is in fact some kind of rodent. If I believe correctly, she was a mouse slash rat. Most, probably mostly mouse. Kind of style. A little tail and the, uh, the kind of ratty nose. I don't know where we need to go after this quest. In fact, I forgot where this one was given to us from. It was here, wasn't it? I think it may have been. I don't know. Where am I going? So I guess we'll have to go back to the Adventurer's Guild when this is done. So I may as well go over there now. I almost, click I almost clicked withdraw. I keep thinking the withdraw button is closed because the close button's always right there. Let's teleport to the Adventurer's Guild. Crescent Freya. The crescentiest stuff is all camera. There we go. Hello. I was gonna say let's find a chair and sit at it, but all of the tables that have NPCs with an empty chair are full. I guess we could sit over here. Let us sit. There we go. The level 1 spell is Frey, level 2 is Freya, and then Freyaga, and Frey... Wouldn't it be Freya, huh? This guy just starts looking at me. <laughs> I ran over and sat in his chair and he just looks at me. Hello there. It's quite the creepy stare you have, my sir. I have never had an issue logging in, and I have literally no idea why. Maybe it's the server I'm on? But the server certainly seems to be populated. Mostly with a billion people with GG tag. But it certainly seems to be populated, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe the Moogle server is just luckier. Kira, Kira, ga, 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 ga. Hey, what? Hello, Vintic. And Zev, and Akasha, and Moomin, and everyone else who's here. I wonder if this guy's just gonna stand there and stare at me for like an hour and a half, or until I get into this thing. Which will probably be an hour and a half, knowing how these things work. Lady Kiraga. Good god. Needed a quick stretch. Who, what, where, when? Hello, move on. You wouldn't think Midgard would be too popular? Oh, you're on the Midgard server? Well, all of the servers are relatively packed. It's, uh, 
certain ones are more so because of people on forums or what have you that gathered everyone with them. Notably, all of the, the uh, whatever they are, all of the veteran servers are packed. What are they called again? I don't even remember anymore. It starts with a V. I don't know. Legacy, it doesn't even start with a V. God, I'm bad at this. The guy's still looking at me. Well done! This is literally gonna be a freaking 30 minute wait. I just know it is. Ugh. You get on the uh, on the flip side. You can actually get into these guild hests extremely quickly. You might have noticed I've done a few. These guild hests are basically just basic dungeons. Supposedly, they're a good way to get quick experience because it's you can basically insta queue constantly for them. Assuming you have a party, obviously, it's the same with the dungeons, but they're much much faster. Like I did uh, this one here. I actually had a tank who knew what he was doing and had macros set up for targeting and stuff like that. We did that one in four and a half minutes or something last night, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Has a 30 minute timer, we did it in four and a half minutes. That tank I had, I don't know his name, I don't remember his name. That was probably the best tank I have seen in any game ever. It is actually Hest. It's Guild Hest. I don't know what that means, but it is in fact called a Guild Hest. I should probably go ahead and summon my Carmacle while we're waiting. Why not? Ding. I could just stand out here and stare at something. Get some scenery in, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to really do anything while I wait. Unless I wanted to go try to farm some, uh, some Inspector Gadget impression. The last time I've watched or heard Inspector Gadget was ages ago, so... I don't think that's going to happen. I could go try to farm those, uh, creatures for the freaking webs. But they're in Gridania, or near Gridania, so I'd have to teleport there and then teleport back. Which would cost me 250. So I'll just kind of stand here and wait, I guess. Man, we'll be here for like 30 minutes, I'm sure. Was that a chocobo riding on a moogle? No, and it probably wasn't a moogle riding on a chocobo. It may have been someone with a moogle cap riding on a chocobo. I wonder what that, what that is in the distance over there. Which direction is that? It's over to the eastern Thonalon, which leads to the south shroud. There's no way that's in the south shroud. Maybe it is in the South Shroud. Actually, that's kind of more Eastern. No, I am basically facing it, so it is right there. Hmm, it's a secret base. It's not very secret when you can see it from a mile away. Oh, someone the other day kept asking where the giant turtles were. I guess he needed it for a hunting log or a quest or something. And I told him to just go back to town and go out the gate, and he still couldn't find them. There's one right outside the gate. There's two right here. There's another one right there. I believe there's another one further in that direction. The dude couldn't find the freaking giant. That's a giant turtle. How do you not find a giant turtle? 
I mean, you have to try really hard not to find the thing. You just pick somewhere to go. There's Guitar Guy mopping, by the way. He's very noisy when he mops. These things look kind of weird. It actually hides stuff. I never noticed that. It actually hides the stuff behind the turtle. You can see it flash in when it when the turtle disappears. You can see the stuff behind them appear. I never noticed it did that because of how. Like, you'll never notice it like this, just running around, because it has time to pop in. He has very squinty eyes. Oh, your bees. Good lord. All your base are belong to us, indeed. I'm kind of trying, waiting for, trying to wait for Guitar Guy to get sorted on this half of the house because he's so noisy. It's everything. What is my favorite location of the three? Uh, for skylines, I think Olda's the best, especially at night. It gets a really nice looking skyline in some areas. But for the actual area itself, I think Gradania's forests make for an interesting area. I think Lima Lomensa is kind of bland. That's my opinion, though. I love the freaking, like, paddle for a weapon they get at whatever level. I really don't like Lima Lamenta's starting area. I find it both boring and boring. Multiple borings. See how noisy he is. Good heavens. I don't know what he does. Just hits everything with the mop. Hello, Coral. And I seriously no idea what he's doing 90% of the time. You agree? Yay, what's... oh yeah, never mind, I already know it's here, yeah. What flurry are you on? Man, I wish someone in the free company was paying attention. So I could party with them to make this faster. Once we get this dungeon done, I don't think there's another one for a while, so we should be able to get some decent progression done and get some unlocks. Like the retainer, which I desperately need. And I really do desperately need a retainer. And then, uh, the, what is it, grand companies will be unlocked soon enough, the mount will be unlocked soon enough. I really need all of this stuff. So I desperately need to continue the storyline, which requires I do this, which takes ages. Because I've decided to be a DPS class rather than a healer. DPS in every MMO take like billions of hours to queue, approximately. Also, for those curious, I have my... In case y'all haven't noticed it, I have my gamma all the way down. I still don't think it's dark enough at night, but I do have my gamma all the way down in case people are wondering why mine's dark. Relatively dark, I should say. The game's not dark at all on the default setting. And it's still not dark enough on this setting. I think it could do I think it could go a little bit darker. A little bit more contrasty too, but there's nothing I can do about that. Ah well.
It's probably crazy dark on some people's monitors. Maybe it's just because it's going through a capture card before it gets to the... Uh, he's still looking at me. <laughs> Has he been targeting... No, I left the area. He hasn't been targeting me. What is this guy doing? I'll poke him. And then run off. There you go. It has been done! I also like how the NPCs look at you when you get close to them. They do that for everyone, but you know. I was hoping that person would stand next to the table. We could get a whole bunch of people standing over here doing nothing. For the love of God, game, just put me in a party. We'll do it without a tank. No, you won't. I seriously doubt you could do these dungeons without a tank. Unless you're really good at using your your uh, Topaz Carbuncle. Which I'm not. <laughs> just for those unaware, I'm garbage at using it. Can you play poker in the game? Nope. As far as I'm aware, there are currently no minigame style stuff. There's no card game, there's no blitz ball, <laughs> or something like that. I don't know if they have plans to add something like that. It would be kind of cool if they did. It would give a lot of these like level 50 people something to spend their guild on. I wish I could read people's names when they're moving. It's freaking impossible. It would have been a little bit easier if the names were a bit more bright. Distinguished from the background because they blend into the freaking background when people move. Even for me, I'm sure it's not any easier for you. Since the quality is worse on the live stream, obviously. Man, I wish there was something I could do during this. Another quest I could go do for the main storyline or something? I don't know anything. I could rent a chocobo and ride around on it for no reason. That doesn't exactly do me any good. Oh, and I also need to do the main storyline so I can make freaking materia. Because I can't do this quest until I have the ability to create materia, which I can't do until I do the main story. Everything is unlocked via the main story. What are you doing, little buddy? Be the name of a popular YouTuber, YouTuber, three silver, syllablarg. Obviously not me. <laughs> Rhymes with these. I don't know. Apparently I don't pay that much attention. This guy's giving me, like, the evil stare. Look at him. What do you need the name of a popular YouTuber that rhymes with these for? Also, I totally forgot to edit last times, so that's not going to go up today. It'll go up tomorrow, and then this will go up on the weekend. Do some crafting. I don't think you can switch classes when you're in the, the queue, can you? Oh, selective class. Current class. I mean, I guess we could do some weaving. Do I even have materials to weave? See if it did anything. Okay. Cool beans. Why did I run this way? Actually, let's quickly check the crafting. I can't make dew thread. Can I make cotton yarn? No, is any cotton bowls? Which I can gather with botanist. That's over in a different area. 
God dang it. <laughs> Why does everything I need have to be somewhere else? I guess we could just buy them. We'll just go buy them. It's what I've been doing before I actually level botanists high enough. It's not that hard to get gill. The only reason my gill hasn't been going up is because I've been purchasing 80% of this stuff to craft. I'll purchase the basic stuff and then I'll craft it from there, but if I need leather or anything like that, I'll just buy the leather. Because I don't have a leather worker. I was about to say, I know you sell cotton bowls. Time to craft a billion cotton bowls. The next seven decades. Prepare to be excited as I push a single button. Have the game do it for me. Now this is not obviously the most optimal way to do it, but I'm lazy, so I'll do it anyway. I can explain it. Uh, you can see a condition up here. Once you hit level 15, this condition thing will appear. If it's good or excellent, you'll get a bonus to quality when you use a, uh, a stand one of the touch abilities, basic touch, standard touch, whatever. So if you want to do it optimally, you'll try to use your abilities, like Observe, which literally does nothing, to optimize the conditions for when you do, like, see, good, I get 88 there, and suddenly I get 146. So it's definitely better to actually pay attention to the condition, but I'm lazy, so I often don't care. Plus I need to craft like a billion of these, and I don't do quick synthesis. You can do quick synthesis and it'll auto synth for you, so you can just go do something else, play another game while it synths. But you'll get drastically less experience. Like for these things, they'll craft in, you know, one every three seconds or something, but I'll only get like 140 experience. As opposed to 750. So I generally try to avoid that. But anyway, this is what crafting is. And this is mostly why I've been doing it off camera. Off live stream, whatever you want to call it. Off recording. Because I literally just do this over and over until I screw up. Like that. If I push the macro too early, it skips the first ability. But whatever. I'll survive. It's cute. You're very enthusiastic when you craft things in this game. Also, the tool you pulled out depends on the thing you're trying to craft. I'm making basically spools of yarn, so I use this, obviously, because that's how that works. That guy's doing the same thing. If I were making clothing, I would pull out my needle and actually stitch it. That kind of thing. I don't believe the condition affects your, uh, your synthesis abilities. I think it's just the touch abilities. We're at 22 minutes and 50 seconds wait time on this freaking dungeon. Also, CP is used for every ability down here. It's basically MP. And it refills completely when you're done crafting. As you can see, I'm maximizing my CP. Because that's how that works, yo. This dude's jumping around. Why are you jumping around, man? Stop it. I think I've already shown the macro as well, so... Although I think I've slightly modified it, but you get the general gist of a macro. I don't know why this guy's jumping around so much. Also, take note of how much experience it takes to level and how much I'm getting for this. It takes 71,400 to level. I'm getting 700 apiece for this. Obviously, this is not the best way to level. <laughs> you might have caught on already. I need it regardless though, so I either buy it from someone else for a billion gil, or I make it myself. Although an easy way to make money is to buy that, the, uh, the cotton from the shop, make the yarn, and then sell the yarn. 
is a very easy way to make money. If you have a retainer, because you can't sell things on the market unless you have a retainer. Wrong. I'm curious why that is, but unless you unless you have a retainer, you cannot sell things on the market board. So. This is also why I usually watch YouTube videos while I'm crafting. I'm never going to get in this dungeon, am I? And I screwed up that. Oh well. Also like this average wait time that doesn't actually exist. The game's been out for what? Nearly... What is it? I was going to say nearly a week, but it's been since early access nearly a week. And the average wait time doesn't do anything. You think it would do something? I guess maybe not. Let's check again if anyone else in the FC wants in. Can't hurt to check again. It's been long enough that I'm not just spamming it in the chat. I always hate to spam stuff like that, like looking for group or looking for party, because it just floods the, the chat. Ain't no one wants a flooded chat. Apparently Moomin was making a, uh, they finally put you in a queue. Hooray! Now go join the freaking duty finder for Copper Bell and make it faster for me. Let's see here. Some talk, some talk of Total Biscuit and some of OTG, of Avic and a Propellant Punk, and great names such as these. Is that the end of it there, Moomin? <laughs> Was that the end of the story? I have confused. Three fifty four must have been an excellent that I wasn't paying attention to there, and of course I get a pour right after that. But whatever. This last third of the quality bar, by the way, is like seventy percent of the high quality chance. So if you can get it up there, it drastically improves. As you could see, it was thirty four percent all the way up here, but if you fill it up, it gets a hundred percent. So it goes from thirty to a hundred in that little, basically, nothing of a bar right there. I, of course, am too lazy to min-max like that, but... But of all the world's great streamers, there's none that can compare. Hmm. It must be nighttime again because it's playing the uh, the nighttime music. The glory that is the old uh, nighttime music. As people run around in their underwear because that makes perfect sense. Slowest crafting process ever. I'm actually about to hit level 23. Also, because I've been doing weaving, I've got a ton of equipment and stuff that can be used, you might notice, of a variety of levels. Uh, like this level 23 Disciple of War thing, 21 Cotton Half Robe. I've been crafting a lot of stuff that's actually very useful for botanist, weaving, and uh, mages. Because you can see that which I crafted, it's not high quality. I craft high quality stuff sometimes. In fact, I think my other character is wearing something I crafted that's high quality, but four spell speed, four intelligence, and four mind. Seems like a pretty good item that I basically got for free in the process of simply just leveling this class. So 
Obviously I've been making pants and stuff. There's some high quality cotton breeches. Which, by the way, if you can make high quality equipment, my god, do you have a massive advantage. It's like a 30 to 40% increase in usefulness of that item. I don't think I have anything to compare it to, but... Uh, it's level 20. Do I have anything else? Level 20? There's some level 22 non-high quality. So 444. That one's gathering. It's probably not the best uh, comparison. But even the gathering equipment has two extra defense and... What's that? Five extra magic defense. And it's two levels lower. So it's a massive increase. Sestasha? You are two dungeons behind, I think. Yeah, Sestasha is the first one. And then you need to do Tamterra, and then you're on Copper Bell, which is where I'm at. We're on different servers, so we can't party. So it doesn't really help me if you join the, uh, the duty finder. Eventually we'll get in. In the meantime, I'm getting, you know, stuff done for the weaver, which I need to do anyway. At least you guys get to see some crafting, eh? It's exciting stuff. It's obviously a little bit more interesting on something that's not, you know, ten levels below what I am. Something that's actually difficult to craft, but hey. I need these to make the freaking spider silk whatever yarn stuff. And I need that to make other things, so... At the very least, if I suddenly stop needing this relatively soon, I can just go sell it. Whoop! Uh, close that. Clip that. Hooray! We got in! I was not ready at all, because I was in the middle of crafting, but hey! There needs to be more uh, tanks and more healers, but there's only two healer classes, and there's a ton of tank classes. Just not a lot of people are good at it, so... In fact, not a lot of people are good at DPS, but hey. Not that DPS is very complicated to play, which is probably why most people are it. Let's set this default to party. Let's tell them it's the first time. Let's actually type it properly, that would help. Hopefully this tank knows what he's doing. We'll have to see. It doesn't look all that good. Maybe it is. Mayhaps it is. We'll see. We do have a healer, right? I don't know what classes we've got here. I'm moderately confused by the current classes at the moment. We're attacking that one. If you're a tank, by the way, you should go ahead and uh, use the marks they give you. They're in here somewhere. Signs. Use the signs they give you. Make a macro and use the signs so you can tell people what to target. Because otherwise I have literally no idea what the tank wants me to kill. And I just have to assume. Which doesn't always go best. Also, I got a, a Weaver level right before we started this, if you didn't notice that. It looks like we actually have two physical classes. That person was pulling it already, so bollocks. Shaft B1! 
Who is our tank? Is it this person with the axe? Who is the DPS physical? I don't know what's going on. Looks like that one's our tank, so... And this guy's just DPS. Is that a pugilist? Is that what that is? It is! We have an Akasha to punch people in the crotch, dude. I forgot they were DPS. Go ahead and get the other one started. And this guy is our conjurer, interestingly wearing a shield. Say that again? Say what again? An Akasha crutch puncher people in the crotch person? I don't even know what I said the first time. Punch people in the crotch, dude, yes. He's a, pu he's a pugilist, that's what he does. He punches people. Who are we going for first here? Looks like that one. Which one are you going for, man? Make up your mind. <laughs> I don't... I was very confused as to what he was doing there. He just kept running back and forth between them for a little bit. It's all right. Conjurers doing their job, tanks trying to do their job. It's all right. It's working all right. The tank's keeping DPS, and that's... Or aggro, not DPS. That's all you can really ask of. Suddenly, dude... Keep this one going. Get this one down first. Sure. I, so I sometimes wish there was a voice chat in the game, but then I also remember, like, you know, voice chat never really goes very well. <laughs> unless it's a pre-made party, and at that point you probably have voice chat anyway. So I'm not entirely that's in our not entirely sure that's in our best interest. Was all right. <laughs> Did that guy just have an ability on called Greased Lightning? I think he did. And Hum is back from AFK land. I guess that would explain why she wasn't ready for the party. Which one are we attacking? I'm attacking this one, so... I should probably use signs. Uh, I don't want to use signs. It's supposed to be the tank's job to mark what we're attacking. I don't want to, you know, mark something and confuse people here. Although it appears they're attacking a separate one from me. You see what I mean, man? Do you see what I mean? What did we get? He got four elegant ten pieces. Well done, Manchu Walk. Apparently is his glorious name. Follow the tank. I actually like that there's multiple treasure chests in a dungeon, so you could basically speedrun a dungeon, but you're gonna miss a lot of the side rooms that have all the treasure in it. Something in the wall just exploded or something. Oh, hi. <laughs> the wall exploded, and then this guy just kind of casually runs out. I think he aggroed him, or he just stunned him, one of the two. Ow. And then he just AoE'd everyone, but details, details. I should probably virus this dude. There we go. Don't make him AoE over here. I also don't understand why people do that, where they constantly run circles around the target. It doesn't really do them any good, because the target's still just going to punch them in the face. It's best to just point the dude away from everyone else, so when he uses an AoE it doesn't hit everyone in the face. It's generally a good idea. I probably should have bioed this guy again when it wore off, but I wasn't paying attention. Because I'm an idiot. What else is new? Is he just living in a little hole in the wall? What's going on there? A 
what's going on here? I guess he was just trying to pull the one without attracting anything else. Which would actually make this a lot easier if we could do it that way. I should use panic every time we come up on an enemy. Every time I select an enemy. Just panic. All of the panic. And he's gonna aggro the other two, looks like. Yep. Sorry for not talking much. Is okay. I would have just. Well, actually, I had been just recording this and talking to myself anyway, so. That live stream just bonus you. Is that a third one? No, that was that one. Never mind. A jittering jig. What is the name of these attacks on these things, man? PRB Google. Google all of the things. This dude's got some sort of weird uh, greased lightning. There's a treasure coffer. I'm actually gonna virus this dude just to decrease the damage output on him, make it a little easier for our healer. Although it only lasts like four seconds, so. I do wish it lasted longer. What is that? Touch of death. Organs are failing, causing damage over time. Well, that sounds bad. Let's see, he got a chunk of iron ore and he got another four Allegan ten pieces. He's getting lucky with the ten pieces, because that's, that's what, 800 gil already just from chests? Not counting the loot from the end? Or the gill bonus for completing it either, since you get gill for completing these. You also get gill for guild hests, so. If you need a little bit of gill and can't craft something to sell, just do guild hests. It's not a lot of gill, but you know. It's also not like I'm doing level 50 guild hests or something if those even exist. Also, suddenly all of the FC people are back. Hooray! Good times. I think it actually makes it slightly easier on our healer, having two people doing physical. Maybe not, I don't know. Because sometimes they split the damage between each other, so you don't really have to heal very much. Coral form, eh? Quarrel form. I don't. I seriously still don't know how to pronounce that. A copper carrier. His entire life is carrying copper. Interesting. So far, this dungeon has been incredibly easy, but we haven't even done the first of the four objectives here, so. Not like we've accomplished very much. I'm hoping this isn't going to be one of those, like, 40 minute, 50 minute dungeons, because we had to wait 40 minutes just to get in this stupid thing. Maximizing my efficiency. Yay! Although if I was maximizing my efficiency, I think I'd probably just miasma and bio everything like I've been doing, but whatever. What does TP stand for? TP is technique points. I believe it tells you that if you hover over it. Maybe not. I don't know. Either way, TP is technique points. So, there you go. You'll get your answer 30 minutes from now, unless someone wants to type it in. Suddenly enemies? Hopefully I didn't aggro, I didn't. Good. I think the guy actually used an AoE right before I hit. TP's technique, uh, I believe spelt exactly the same as Final Fantasy XII, so it has, it's, what is it? T-E-C-H-N-I-K, 
which doesn't make any sense. And then you have magic points and HP, which is health points, obviously. Because that's how this thing works! I've come to the conclusion that leveling weaving at the moment is preposterous. It's not that bad. Getting the material for dew threads is ridiculous, yeah, but leveling it's not preposterous. Shaft B4. Oh, this is actually the shaft we need to be in for our first objective, so... Good day! Rage quit between level 5 and 10. The first... I would say the first 20 levels of weaving are extremely easy to do if you just buy the materials. Uh... As opposed to something like gathering, which is just ridiculous to, to level. Fire sand and powder chamber. Yes, we need to put the fire sand in the powder chamber, I suppose, and then blow it up. I suppose that's how this works. Rage quit at level one. Shaft B4 is now clear. Let us rejoice in our advancement of story questing or something. There's not a lot of groups in this place either. I mean, large groups. Like, the last dungeon had groups of, you know, three, four enemies fairly consistently. Suddenly Spriggan. Suddenly walled off. Gosh darn it. Well, there's your groups of enemies right there. Hopefully my freaking carbuncle sorts itself out. If it doesn't, we might have a bit of an issue. But suddenly Spriggan's. I'm just gonna ruin, because these things don't have a lot of health. And they're hitting our healer. There's a lot of these. I wish we had AoE. I quite badly wish we had AoE. I should... There we go, that guy has an AoE. Use your AoEs, man! That was a bit sudden. Of suddenly bomb. A flame bill. How many enemies are going to suddenly spawn in this area? That thing's not very strong either, but it has friends. I should just tab bio everything. Tab bio everything. There's a lot of enemies suddenly. Also, I'm just standing in the middle of it all. Like, yo, what's up? I'm a dude, what of it? You've already been bioed, that dude's kiting like a boss. You've been bioed, you've been bioed. Bio everything! Seriously, that's a lot of sudden enemies. Well, I said there's not a lot of large groups, and then suddenly a lot of large groups. Let's actually get away from that guy, because he has an AoE. My freaking carbuncle's still stuck moderately irritating. Maybe I need to tell him to move? Let's tell him to move and see if he'll actually get himself out of there eventually. I don't think he will. Mage tank. Mage tank everything. I need to virus that guy. That'd be a good idea. I hate when my carbuncle gets stuck on the other side of those barriers. I need to remember to move him past those purple lines before anything starts happening. Because I don't think you can attack through that, so, you know, most of my DPS... There he is. Hello, Carbuncle. Thanks for joining the party. You're a bit late to it, but thanks for joining it regardless. Loot list has been updated. Plundered goggles. I don't need it. Rolled need, he obtained it, there you go.
happy tanking or something. Happy warring. An errant soul. That's always a good sign. You open a door and wander across an errant soul. I didn't say Lucas has been updated. I said Loot List has been updated. I do think I should bio multiple enemies before I start using Ruin, because Ruin's not exactly a strong spell. In fact, I think Miasmus does more damage. 80 potency. Bio's half potency. Miasma is... slightly less than half, but it also lasts longer. I'm pretty sure Miasma does more damage. A lift lever? I like lifts. Let's panic. Because that's the solution to everything. Is now Lucas Levson? No, Carbuncle! <laughs> Gosh dang it. I think he just used Calm on me. My Carbuncle got left behind. Carbuncles don't know how to use elevators, I guess. There's another powder chamber, so that's going to be our second. I assume there's going to be a, a third shaft that we must uh, cause to explode violently. Suddenly, friggin' copper carrier. I guess we'll just let him hit whatever he wants. I don't know if he pulled anger. It looks like he did. Everything is better with a toaster? This is, in fact, true. I'm not actually, let's, let's, uh, let's rephrase that. I'm not sure fingers are better with toasters. I think, uh, I think you're, you're better off, you know. Without, without your finger in the toaster, I think you're better off. There's two ways to go, pick one. One of them leads somewhere. One of them leads to a treasure chest, the other one probably leads to the material we need. Incrementing like a boss. This is a very pretty looking game, yes. This is in fact true. Especially at night. Okay, so that guy dropped the item we needed. Good to know. I wonder what's in the other area, or if there's a treasure chest. Ever tried to put a bathtub in a toaster? Uh, no. My bathtub's too large for that. I don't like to willy-nilly run into rooms. The Lucas list has been updated. Ooh, I need that. Yay! I have obtained an item! A level 15 item, but an item nonetheless. I just panic every time something happens. I like the fanfare music that you get when you get an item, and also you get fanfare music when you complete the dungeon. You get the full song. Which is lovely jovely. Let's virus that one as well. Reduce the incoming deeps as they're known by nobody ever. Go back to this one. Plus my carbuncle keeps attacking the first thing I hit, so my DPS technically doesn't go down that much when I swap. Because that carbuncle does a metric crap ton of damage. I think we're hitting this one. Let's check. No, we're hitting this one. Maybe. That one just blew up, so that solved the problem of killing that one because it killed itself. It also almost killed our tank, which is a good sign. Yeah, I didn't realize that I didn't have my asthma on him, but it's too late now anyway. So we've actually got two bags of 
fire sand now. I'll stand back here on the barrel. Oh, barrel person. I like how we've got like a setup. He puts the powder, this guy blows it up. Everyone else stands back. I wonder if that does damage. I don't really want to find out. <laughs> I'd hate to be the guy who dies to the explosion. Never wander off in front of the tank. Especially in an area you don't know. There's an improved blasting device and a giant freaking jelly. Come inside. There you go, Carbuncle. This looks like a mini boss. The crying dark will be sealed off in 15 seconds, apparently. Good to know. Is he going to spawn additional monsters? This guy is tanking, like, all of the damage ever. Seriously, look at his health bar. He literally does not care that we're hitting him. Are we supposed to kill him like this? I mean, there's an improved blasting device there. This doesn't seem like the way to kill it. Yeah, looks like we're supposed to be doing something here. What did it say? Lure him near the the blasting caps before they self-destruct. Well, let's summon another one, I guess. go. I guess this is what we should be doing. There's the self-destruct. Okay, now there's two of them. <laughs> do we have to do that again? Are we just making a bunch of tiny ones? Is that what's going on here? Obviously we need to just make a bunch of tiny ones, because these things are seriously tanky. So there's the blasting cap again. Spriggan is attacking the blasting cat. No. Sir. No. I think someone just killed the blasting cat again. Gosh darn it. Stop killing the blasting caps. It's also hard to use this thing when they're inside of it. Okay, there's the blasting cat. Get rid of this dude real quick. So he doesn't kill our blasting cat. No! Stop killing the blasting cat. I'm tanking this brigand. Why why blasting cat die all the time? What is my pet doing? Come here, pet. Stand over here. Hit this thing. It's attacking me. Okay. The blasting cap is still alive. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we've got a bunch of tiny ones. This is an interesting fight. Are these killable? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So we need to do it again somehow. The party's figured it out at least. At least they don't do a lot of damage. I'm assuming it'll respawn here. Oops. Accidentally tab targeted there. And I think he just AoE'd the bomb. Whoops. Come pet. Sit over here. 
sit here and wait for our time. Let the healer do heals. Let someone pull the blasting device. There we go. I wonder if you could heal the blasting cap. Okay. This is a very long fight. It's also kind of cool. I like this fight. Oh good god, there's like a billion of them. <laughs> Look at them all. Can we kill them now? Oh, our tank is dead. Oh. Uh, it looks like we can kill these. Apparently our tank died at some point. I don't know when this occurred, but... Uh, Please tell us a joke. I don't know any jokes. I'm bad at jokes. Okay, so we finally got it sorted out here. It took long enough. I'll panic. Solution to all problems is to get over the dead guy and panic. Healer can revive, but only out of battle, so... Not you? Aww. Poor Moomin. I accidentally healed myself. He did it too. I think he has the same macro idea. Ooh. Neither of that's for me, so we'll just greet it. What's the other one? No? Is that the same thing? Oh, it's it's listing both of the items. I'll read both of them. I think everyone rolled greed. Yeah, <laughs> everyone rolled greed on it. I shall do the duty of exploding things. So the only thing left is to kill the boss. That wasn't even the boss. Admittedly, it wasn't that hard, it just took a while. We're a bit slow on figuring it out, I guess. Which one's he attacking first? That one? Yep. So many debuffs. You like his jokes? How could you possibly like his jokes? Good god. You're confused and apologized by reflex. Well done, Moomin. Well done. We lost our aggro here. In fact, I'm about to get aggro on this thing. We need to kill this one, I think, is what we're going for here. The hippo surf. The surf among hippos. I do not shush. It is my job to speak incessantly of things no one knows of all the freaking time. Hey, Sacred. Can we go that way? Should we go that way? I don't know. It doesn't seem like the best of ideas to go that way. Maybe it's an alternate path. I don't know. He's just massively jelly. In fact, I am, yes. I didn't aggro that. Someone aggroed it. No, never mind. The tank's got it. We're cool. And then the healer aggroed it. Healer aggro in this game is ridiculous. Seriously ridiculous. I should probably virus this one as well. I didn't virus it. There we go. That one's gonna die. Gonna die before I finish casting. Alas. It was not meant to be. It seems like all of the loot, by the way, you get from dungeons is ethereal, or pink, purple, whatever. Highest value, I guess. Which is kind of cool, so I guess dungeons would be the way to, to grind loot, is to do the dungeon at your level. Which I suppose would make sense. It is the dungeon at your level, so I suppose that would be a thing you'd want to do. Where's my pet going? Pet, what are you doing? 
I think he ran around the corner up there. And something went out of his line of sight. Yeah, the other dude went out of line of sight. Whoops. I'll let them finish it off then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna die before I finish casting. I don't know if that would be a first world problem. I mean, you know, maybe third world has magic and they cast things. I don't know. Keep it in this one. Interestingly, my carbuncle has avoided all of the AoE there. Oh no, he got hit by poison. Oh well. He'll be right. Hello, Hall. I can always heal him with this sustain, which is a very good heal for your pet, by the way. Much better than casting physic on it. Whatever this ability is called. Physic, yes. Uh, I got a potion! And he got four more ten pieces. He's gotten twelve elegant ten pieces. That's insane. Also, more hippo surfs. Surfs among the hippos. Etc, etc. And a big dude. Of course he's a big dude. Of course he's probably already aggroed to someone as well. Yep. Of course he is. Why would he not be? Who, what, where? You guys new PC set up now? Oh yeah, I forgot you got... You already got this stuff put in and everything? I thought you just bought it. I just got hit by something, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Suppose that's how this works. And this, again, is the problem with the tank running around constantly, rather than just sitting still. Oh well. They do this in World of Warcraft as well, despite the fact that World of Warcraft, in fact, doesn't do anything when you do that, but whatever. What is? I should have virused this dude, but... It seems like every class in the game has a damage over time. It, maybe I should just level every class in the game and put all of their damage over times on this class. So I can just roll a class with like 12 damage over times. Uh, can you focus the tank and make a macro to target your focus's target? Yes. Uh, in macros, if you put T in brackets, uh, the little carrot arrow alligator bracket things. There's a living fossil over there. If you put T in the bracket, it will be target. If you put TT in the bracket, it is target's target. So whatever you're selecting, that target. I didn't notice those enemies there. So I could target the tank, and using a TT macro, I could attack or heal or debuff whatever he's attacking. It's not the best plan for DPS, because he'll swap his targets constantly, or he should swap his targets co constantly to keep the aggro, but, you know, it's a thing. You can do it. Why is that thing over there? Gonna... Let's virus it! Make 10,000 cotton, indeed. Me and Humbuggle are basically the same level weaver, so... You can do me, so yourself. You can do mouse over, which is what I do for healing. Uh, you can do target, you can do target's target, you can do... Uh, something else. That's basically the extent of what you'll need to do anyways. This is the boss arena. It certainly looks very boss-like, and the fact that it has a cutscene when someone crosses the line, you know. Free! I can't skip it, so. Yeah, the macro system's really easy. It's quite the helmet you have there, my friend. Come in, Carbuncle. There we go. Okay. So this is the boss, which means there'll be ads and I'll have to deal with the ads and stuff. Oh, this guy cool aggro. The cold throne will be sealed off in 15 seconds. I still don't understand what that means. Oh, that means the... Oh, oh, I know what that means. Never mind. Ignore me. It means the entrance to the area will seal off. Akasha, in fact, cannot hear, yes. Did someone just blow a limit break there? 
Someone blew something. Let's keep an eye out for stuff that pops up. There's an unknown boulder over there. So I have a sneaking suspicion that something's gonna spawn over there. I have a sneaking suspicion he's about to go make something spawn. Yep. He's about to make something spawn. An enemy approaches. What is it? Where is it? There it is. Sick. Where is that thing going? Oh, it's gonna go break the other wall. No. No. <laughs> Stop. Oh, he's not bioed. I should have bioed him. Hey, he'll die quick enough, it seems. An enemy approaches. Another one? Where? Let's re debuff this guy real quick if we can. There he is. Quickly now, I need to sick it. Sick it, pet, sick it with your face. Quickly now. I need to make sure my pet's attacking what I'm attacking when these when this stuff spawns. Cause, you know, that's basically my job. Is to kill the stuff that spawns. As far as I'm aware, that's what the DPS should be doing. They die quick enough, but I don't think we're gonna be able to completely stop them from breaking this boulder. Do I think the game is worth the sub? I do. That's me, though. Quickly debuff this dude again. I know you're back there, dude. I think I just interrupted my own rune. Well done. Well bloody done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to get that boulder down before we get this guy's health down. At the very least, it's giving us enough time to get a lot of his health down. Just the new enemy. Is our conjurer attacking this dude? I think our conjurer is actually attacking the mobs as well. I didn't know he could go that way. And of course now he's not in line of sight because he ran around that way. Of course. The boss isn't in line of sight. I should have told it to sick before I did that because he has a long cast time. Cannot use while casting. Cannot use while spamming one. Hope he doesn't go out of range. Nope, good. How hard is the level 20 Ifrit fight? Oh, I forgot. Our uh, Ifrit fight, our first summon fight's coming up. Conjurers get bored. I suppose so. I was actually hovering over the wrong thing, because I'm an imbecile, imbecile. The boulder's almost dead. And there's no way to pull their aggro away from the boulder, either. I think he actually died while I was casting that. An enemy approaches! Yes, indeed. At least I can... I'm pretty sure I can virus these guys and actually reduce suddenly aggro. Oh, they broke the freaking wall. Did the boss AoE the wall? That sucks. I think that boss just AoE'd the wall. Unless the wall broke earlier and I didn't notice it, I have no idea. Is there any British in here? Probably quite a few people. And of course that means I'm gonna aggro everything that spawns as well. What is the Arcanist's limit break, actually? Out of curiosity, what is the Arcanist limit break? I'm probably never going to use it. Especially not in this fight, which is somewhat crumbling. That's going to hurt. Eee. 
Do these continuously spawn? Yep, they continuously spawn. That's making this a whole lot harder. Just saying. I need to move my carbuckle, but I guess he'll just sit there and tank things with his face like he does. Like he normally does. He's actually almost dead. Let's get some damage on him real quick, because when he goes down, everything else goes down. Let's quickly get him down. There we go. Hooray! It kind of started to fall apart at the end, but we win. Happy face that you can't see because I have a mask on. I got everyone's like spread around. Loot list. And of course it's something for Disciples of War. 